Now, sir, are you the patient? Yeah. All right. Tell me exactly what's happened. I've killed my my fiance by mistake. Pardon? I've but are you the patient, sir? Yes. Okay, so you said you're the patient. Yes. Right, okay. Right, tell me exactly what's happened to your fiance. She's dead. Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors at Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this story comes from Wales. It's actually a follow up to a story that we did a few weeks ago. But today he's finally been sentenced and they've also released a lot more information in relation to body cam footage and also 999 phone calls. Madog Rowlands, 23 years old, has been jailed for a minimum of 18 years for the murder of his fiance. I will leave links to domestic violence helplines in this video as well because of course this is something that needs to be made aware of in cases like this. Madog strangled his 21 year old girlfriend Lauren Griffiths, rest in peace, before buying drugs, setting up a Netflix account and ordering takeaway food that he ate next to her dead body. He called 999 24 hours after and when he did finally ring them he tried to claim the incident had just happened. They described him in court as self-absorbed and manipulative. Rowlands had previously had an investigation in relation to violence against his partner and he attacked her again and the fatal consequences of that resulted in her death on April the 29th, 2019. Rowlands from New Broughton in Wrexham, he said in his trial he didn't intend to kill his fiance and was acting in self-defence when she grabbed him by the throat as she had experienced a mental health episode, but this was rejected by the jurors that found him guilty of murder. They heard an emotional victim impact statement that was read on behalf of her parents. Her mother, Alison Turner, said, As a family, we've lost our daughter and sister. Lauren was a quirky, fun-loving character who loved to come home and meet with her family and friends. She will be missed every day and her family will never be the same and we won't understand why this happened. Lauren had plans for the future, which have sadly been taken away forever. Her father Jason Griffey says, Since Lauren died I started to have nightmares and trouble sleeping. The nightmares were always the same, with Lauren dying and me being helpless to save her. I have been diagnosed with PTSD, which is due to the trauma of losing my child. The judge Daniel Williams said that Rowlands, whom he described as sullen and self-obsessed, should be jailed for life with a minimum term of 18 years. The judge told the defendant what you did for 35 hours after murdering Lauren defies belief. You ordered drugs to be delivered to the flat. You paid for by cash and Lauren's account. And after the drugs were delivered, you ordered a sandwich as a home delivery. And you ate it in the bedroom on the mattress next to her body. You took drugs and drank whiskey and had thoughts of trying to get rid of her body. You wrapped her in cling film and bin bags and bound her ankles with sellotape before making plans to take her out of the flat. 35 hours after murdering Lauren you rang 999 and said in a chilling call that your actions for killing Lauren were defensive. This was a lie and you persisted to say this throughout the trial. The jury saw through your lies and you have been found guilty. But how is she dead? Because I've, I've killed her. Right. But how have you killed her sir? I, I, I strangled her. Following your arrest, you googled how to show remorse and you tried to show remorse when giving evidence, but they were feeble and everybody seen through your pitiful attempts to deceive the court. The Crown Prosecution Service released these pictures after his conviction and sentencing. And some of these pictures include writings on the wall as well, and also pictures of cannabis, which looks like Stardog, and various suicide type messages. Following the hearing, Millie Davis from the CPS says, expert medical evidence was used before the jury, showing that Rowlands would not have been able to strangle his girlfriend if he'd have lost consciousness, and therefore would not have been able to have done what he did. His actions were deliberate, and the jury's verdict reflects it. The young woman lost her life and our thoughts go out to her friends and family and this is why the police have released the body cam footage and also the audio. Obviously, 
what's happened has happened. The ambulance staff have told us what's happened. Okay, everything I'm saying now is being recorded. All right, but at the moment, I am arresting you. Okay, on suspicion of murder. You do not have to say anything. It may harm your defence if you do not mention when question something which you later on in court. Anything do say may be given in evidence. Okay. All right. So you're under caution now. That means everything that you say and do from this point onwards, I will record and I will write down. All right. Yeah. Okay. We're going to be taking you down to the police station now. I advise you at the moment not to talk to me or anything unless it's anything to do with your welfare at the moment. Have you been arrested before by the police? You have. Okay. And what was that for? For, um, for attacking Lauren. Right. Okay. And what happened that time? Uh, was strangling again. Right. So as I said at the beginning of the video, do not hesitate to call these numbers if you think you know somebody or yourself is in a domestic violence relationship. And better yet, if you do have a support system around you to escape it, do take advantage of it because this does escalate. And sadly, more than often, it happens where somebody can lose their life. So really appreciate you joining me today and rest in peace to Lauren Griffiths and condolences to her family. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.